Hey, Satanica here for God Loves Comics. And guess what? Another feature. Um, this time we're going to do something very different in the sense that I'm going to read a comic I have no inkling about. I like the art. I've heard a lot of positive things about Jeff Lemire. Um, and I've heard of Dustin Gwynn. I like this cover a lot. It's called A Cinder. And from what I've read, what little bit I read, the uh, blurb related to this uh, series, is that it is the follow-up to Lemire's uh, previous work, and I guess Gwen as well, Descender. And now this is the daughter of the main characters from that series. And that's pretty much all I know, aside from the fact that uh, obviously it's a fantasy a mix of fantasy and science fiction, which should be fun. And so, just going to do a cold reading of this. And I'm just going to read this first issue. And if you like it, by all means, go out and buy it. Um, as I might do. If I like it this much, um, I may go and buy the collection subsequently. So this is A Cinder by Jeff Lemire and Dustin Gwynn. Let's see. See right there. Again, the credits. Steve Wands is lettering and design. Dustin Gwynn cover. Will Dennis editor for Image Comics. Which is putting out a lot of good work. Nosos. Formerly the smallest core planet of the United Galactic Council. Now... Flash. Scree. <laughs> it should be a little bit more energetic than that, probably. Mother, we were not expecting you. What Tobin means to say is that it is good to see you, mother. Have my ship fed. It has been a long flight. You heard her, vamps. Feed the ship. Yes, Master Froben. Okay, so this dragon-like creature is an organic ship. As you can see, Mother, the starship fields are flourishing. You are right, of course. The Nosians make wonderful slaves. A fresh crop of ships should be ready to harvest by the next moon. Okay. So the starship fields are actually growing these dragon-like creatures in fields um, tended by slaves from Nosos. Excellent. In the offensive of Nairata, General Vix, any progress there? It went well, Mother. We snuffed out the black market there and confiscated and destroyed a large number of spacecraft weapons and forbidden tech. And what about the attacks on our bases, on the moon of Amon General? What of that? The UGC rebels hit us hard, but we took a prisoner. A prisoner. I will see this prisoner now. It is all under control, Mother. It's only a matter of time until he talks to us. You bumbling idiots have no idea what you're doing. I will see the prisoner. B -b but we uh, have everything under c -c control, Mommy. I swear. Shut up, Froben. You've gotten nowhere with the prisoner. Nowhere! Oh, and wh what have you managed to d do, great wizard Tobin? Quiet, both of you. M Mother, please. No. 
The coven warned me against trusting you two with such an important mission, but I was blinded by a mother's love. No more. Go back to ordering around slaves and growing spacecraft. That's all you two are good for. <sighs> okay, she's the head witch of this coven, and she just lifts up these two uh, <laughs> misshapen twins of hers and then drops them on the hard steps. How long ago did you take this prisoner? Beautiful watercolor, sort of, uh, this may actually be done on computer, I'm not sure, but it's still very beautiful and organic looking. Two days. The other UGC rebels escaped again, of course, but they left his body behind. Fools. They thought death could silence him, but death is our ally, not theirs. My mother, I tried all of the necromantic spells and the old text. I'm afraid we were just too late. Too late. Perhaps for you fools, but not for me. Watch, boys. I will show you true magic. Obviously, I'm not going to attempt... <laughs> Her uh, spells. Ah, gasp. Cold. Dark. Do not be scared. Mother is here. Tell me, what was your name? Second Lieutenant Remus Tell. Fourth Battalion. United Galactic Council. Samson. The UGC is dead. Long gone. You remember that, yes? Yes. Long gone. No more UGC. Just you. Just mother. But it is not just me. There is another, isn't there? Someone is helping what's left of you UGC rebels. Yes, another. Helping, protecting, protecting us with great magic. There is no magic in this galaxy that I do not oversee. No power I do not control. I am mother and the universe is mine. Now tell me, who is protecting the rebels? There's impossible, it's impossible to read this without feeling some overtones of Star Wars here. The rebels who are protecting, who is protecting the rebels. Uh, fortunately, the dialogue is considerably better in George Lucas's. We do not know his name. Liar! Do not think that death makes you immune to pain. I will torture you for eternity if I must. Tell me who he is. We do not know his name, only his light. Who is he? Who is the one protecting you? Tell me. Who is he? He is the light in the darkness. He is the great wizard. He is hope. What? Mother! Mother, did you? No. Something there. What is it? It is a message. Interesting. I really like this uh, panel with the uh, robotic skull. A cinder. Samson. 
formerly the largest planet in the United Galactic Council and home to its military center and largest human cities. Now it is a devastated world thrown back into pre-technological age and cut off from the rest of the galaxy. <clears throat> Beautiful illustration of this flying turtle. Sea turtle, except not in the sea. Mother is great. Mother loves you. Mother is always watching. Hmm. Propagandist, perhaps? Hello, Trilly. What do you want now, girly? What do you think I want? I want to trade. Humph. I am done trading good fruit to you for mountain rats. I am a kind man, girly. But that only goes so far. Ain't a mountain rat this time, Trilly. Frocks fur. Frocks? How'd you trap a frox? I trap all things. All kinds of things up there, Trilly. Frocks ain't that tough. <sighs> well, I can't trade these easily. Select market for frocks these days. I can only give you two pieces of fruit. Two? Forget it. What do we have here? Looks like mountain scum come to trade. You trading illegally again, Trilly? No, sir. I, I told her. I say, Trilly don't take black market deals. Trilly only trades with licensed vendors. So you got a license, girl? Y yes. You lying to us? No, sir. Let me see your mark then. Ha <laughs> You ain't free. You ain't saved. And you ain't even licensed to be down in the village, kid. So? Everyone comes down here. What do you care? What did you say? Is that how you talk to the saved? C -c -c no, sir. What was that? No, officer. Praise mother. Mother, save us all. You're lucky it was us who found you, kid. Anyone else in the militia would have turned you over to the camps. But we ain't heartless. Mother is compassionate. So you give us the frock's fur and get on back up the mountain. We'll let you go. But we see you trying to trade again here, and you'll be vamp food, you hear? Thank you, officer. Praise mother. Mother is great. Mother loves you. Okay, so mother is a religion. Even on this far-flung planet. Mother is always watching. Um, hi, Dad. Where have you been, Mila? I was, uh, nowhere. I was just playing. Playing all afternoon? Sorry, I didn't mean to. What the hell is this? Your ruin is showing. You tell me what happened right now. I, uh, I went down to the swap town... And the militia stopped me, but I'm fine, Dad. Fine. Mila, what were you thinking? I was thinking that I'm bored out of my mind up here, and you just agree to let me become saved. I could go down to Swap Town and to the school and anywhere else I want to go without having to worry about being thrown into a vamp camp. You don't know what you're saying. I do, too. Who cares if I believe in Mother or not? At least we wouldn't have to live up here like hermits anymore. I will never, never submit to that monster. You hear me? 
We are free. And as long as I have anything to say about it, we'll stay free. So they're effectively atheist in this sense. Free. Look where being free got us. Look where it got mom. If she were still alive to hear you talk like that, more than anyone I ever knew, your mom hated that woman in everything she stood for. And she... She gave her life so you could grow up free. Not the most original narrative, but time tested, I should say. Is that what you think we are up here? Free? I have never even left this ward. I've never even seen the oceans or the old cities. Nothing. Mila, sit down and eat. I'm not hungry. Mila. Mila. Mata. Formerly an aquatic world free of sentient life and secret home to a hidden underwater robot colony. Now home to mother's floating stronghold and sanctum to her coven. General Vix, fetch the knife. Yes, mother. Here you go, mother. Another incantation. The classic slicing of the palm. Letting the blood drip down. Even Indiana Jones did this. And uh, I believe the last crusade in which uh, it was needed to uh, unlock the tomb. Daughter, 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 what do you want, bitch? Mothers, I summon you. I request your counsel, mothers. Why should we help you? Oh, be quiet, your bitterness grows tiresome. We are a lineage. She is our ancestor. One day she will die and join the coven too. It is the way of things. Easy for you all to say. You've been dead for ages. Only years ago I was still flesh and blood. I was alive. It should have been me who rose up. Me who ruled the universe, not this whelp. You were too weak, mother. That is why I killed you in your sleep. Now your wisdom and your magic belong to me. Okay, well, that's a good explanation for why she would call her a bitch there. She murdered her. <laughs> Ignore her daughter. Our wisdom is yours. What troubles you? A mage has risen. He has allied with my enemies. Yet no matter what spell I cast, I cannot detect or locate his magic anywhere. He is hidden from me in every way. How is this possible? We sense no magic. Your magic is our magic, and it is still the greatest in the galaxy. But this, this was a message from the unknown mage. What does this mean? The robots are gone. They are no concern. You've stomped out all technology in the galaxy, except that which you strictly control. This is no message. It is a distraction, a ruse. This mage toys with you. You are in control. Now, daughter, there is nothing to fear. Hmm. 
I would not be so sure about that. What do you mean, mother? As the last to join the coven, my connection to the material world is the strongest, and I... I have seen something in the darkness. What? What have you seen? Tell me. A hound. I have seen a hound. Beware the hound with a backwards tongue. Beware the hound. 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 And say vanish into ebon balls once again of black magic I suppose what does it mean mother I do not know yet Vix but I will we are going to Nish I will speak with the king of course mother the hound with the backwards tongue and he is on his knees now Licking the blood from her palm with his snake-like tongue. And here's the girl pondering her frustration. Unable to enter the cities or really travel freely because she is essentially an atheist. Because she has not been saved by joining the cult of motherdom, of motherhood. There has to be more than this. There has to be. Why couldn't I have been born when we had spaceships and shift drives? Thoom. Why couldn't I have been before the harvesters took it all away and before mother was born? Whoosh. What would it have been like to have been alive when the robots walked among us? My dad won't ever talk about what things were really like back then, and I have no one else to ask. So every night I look to the stars, and I ask myself these things over and over again. I never thought I would actually get an answer. No, something just crashed down from space. And that something looks like a cliffhanger. I was wrong. Exclamation marks. And this looks like the sort of robotic pet thing that we saw in the cover. And that is it. And this is the cover to issue number two. Nice cover. Um, sort of a Medusa death skull's head with eyeballs. And the girl, of course, in the center. And then we see this advertisement for something called Gogor from the critically acclaimed creator behind Planetoid, Ken Gehring. Deep underground among the floating islands of Altera, the mythical Gogor sleeps. It's time to wake up. May 2019, so that's already come out. Middle West. Scotty Young's name on the book means I buy it. He's pretty much the most interesting creator around at the moment. Mark Millar. I've read a lot of comics in my life, but a few of them have hit me as hard as Middle West. Jeff Lemire, who wrote Ascender. Compelling, thought-provoking, and enchanting. Impulse Gamer. I was sucked in from page one and couldn't put it down. Mark Wade. Uh, very real, very magical, very amazing. <laughs> Your favorite new comic book is here. Jason Aaron. Available also in May 2019. So that's out as well. Scotty Young and George Corona. And that is it. Fantastic. Um, after all of these Alan Moore readings, which are incredibly wordy, and obviously I've gone through um, some very lengthy series, uh, it almost feels like I'm not doing anything and reading 
just a single comic book, especially modern comics, which are, as you may know, and I'm sure you're well aware, are considerably less wordy than they were uh, back in the day, uh, or at least uh, also less wordy than a typical Alan Moore piece. But um, that makes for a very light read, very pleasant. Um, it's hard to say. I really, I like the concepts of the book, even though I can recognize uh, lots of similarities. Like I said, there's a, definitely a Star Wars vibe, but hopefully considerably more complex than that. Um, the whole mother, daughter, you know, the mother is dead. She's got the father and it's a rebellious daughter who wishes to see the world kind of thing is very, you know, even the dialogue for it was very standard, you know, kind of a classic Hollywood formulaic setup, but that's not to knock it. I mean, it certainly has very attractive art and some interesting elements to it that make it compelling enough to want to read some more of this. So you can decide for yourself. I hope you enjoyed that little sampling of a cinder number one by Jeff Lemire and Dustin Gwynn. And that's it for now. Once again, I would love to hear your comments on this reading and on the comic itself. Thanks for listening. See you next time.